Welcome to the NBA presented by 2K Sports. What a beautiful Tuesday evening it is, folks. Along with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce joins us from the sidelines. And they've got one player out of the lineup due to injury. It's tough enough to win in this league when you're at full strength. Missing a cornerstone player makes it even harder. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. And a lot of size for them, with both Mobley and Allen watching the paint. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Darius Garland. And it's Okoro in at the three. And for Golden State, they've got Thompson, also Kaminga out there. And it's Curry in at the point. Here's Jackson Davis. Pretty interesting backcourt matchup here, Grant, with a lot of star power at the guard positions on both sides. And you know, traditionally, B.A., when big guys match up, it's all about the power. But this contest is about finesse. Who can outplay and outsmart the competition? Mobley passes to Garland. Six on the shot clock. Mobley is screen on Curry. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. And Mobley throws it down. Well, just quick with the decision-making. Smart pass by Darius Garland. Gilgis Alexander against Paul. Jackson Davis with the bucket. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Cleveland Cavaliers. First quarter, just over a minute play. Back to Okoro. To the inside. And Gilgis Alexander gets it to go on the assist by Okoro. Well, Okoro is a team first guy that wants to involve his teammates. Pretty pass there. Here's Paul. No good. A bit long that time. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Allen with a screen on Paul. Gilgis Alexander passes to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, Jared Allen getting open off the screen and roll. Such a big target. Pass to Curry. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. They set the screen. Here's Paul. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That one's on Darius Garland. When Chris Paul gets the into the teeth of the, the defense, make no mistake, this guy's in attack mode because he wants to go to the foul line. That's good from Paul. Well, Grant, in his Hall of Fame resume, just about the only thing missing for Chris Paul is a title. And he had a shot in Phoenix, but while Golden State perhaps not the favorites, with these other future Hall of Famers, I think the opportunity remains. Paul hits them both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps making them. Now here's Gilgis Alexander, tightly guarded. From the baseline. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Warriors have gone just two for four from the floor. Kaminga with a screen on Garland. Down low. And stolen by Mobley. Garland against Curry. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Mobley deciding where to go with it. Kaminga pulls it in. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. There's a screen to the paint. Here's Jackson Davis. The kick out to Paul. Now here's Curry. Curry draws the double. Outside Kaminga. Second chance effort. Buries the jump shot. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really give the defense just another thing to worry about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Inside, here's Okoro. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right, he stays connected and great timing on the contest. 
And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Cavaliers. Trailing by two. Here's Okoro, defended by Thompson. Curry against Garland to the middle to snap the cold streak. Well, why settle for the layup when you can finish with authority? Mr. Allen on the dunk. Kuminga against Mobley. Right side, Kuminga. Paul taking his time here. Pass to Curry over Garland. That one rolls around and rims out. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. He'll just Alexander from outside. Here's Allen. Here's Okoro. Mobley outside. To the inside. Garland. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. You know what you love about Darius Garland's potential? It's as a scorer in this league, right? This is so aggressive. He plays assertively. And that, to me, is the key for young players. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. Well, he's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Well, Grant, we're now basically at the halfway point of the regular season, with each game gaining more importance as time goes on. I mean, that's it. We are at that time where the playoff picture becomes clear and teams are hungry for wins. So, you know, they know at this point of the season, every game matters. So you got to love how competitive things are right now. Now here's Gilgis Alexander, averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. Curry against Garland. Let's it go from deep. Curry, no good. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Mobley finds Gilgis Alexander. Now Mobley. Allen a screen. Inside. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Allen's got six points. Well, Evan Mobley might be a big man, but boy, how about the touch on that pass right there? The kick out. Curry puts up a three. Curry with another miss. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Down low. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Okay, Jared Allen, we see you making that look for a big man. That's a pretty pass. Curry looking it over. To halt the run. And he lays it in. Curry's got his second basket on the night. He's just two for seven from the field, trying to work his way into a rhythm. Gilgis Alexander passes to Okoro. And here's Allen. Here's Mobley, and he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there, and there's the whistle. Foul on the Golden State Warriors. This is why it's hard guarding Evan Mobley at times. This guy, when he's aggressive, forcing defenders to match his energy. And let's take a moment to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Cavaliers. Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision? Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. Here's Merrill. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Pass to Mobley. Outside Garland. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Tremendous balance and body control. Darius Garland, no stranger to finishing inside. Outside Curry. 
They set the pick. He shoots it. Cavaliers with a rebound. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Levert passes to Garland. Driving inside. That one drops for him. And now a seven-point Cleveland lead. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Look for Cleveland. Thompson, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. Wade comes in for Niang. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Minute 32 left to play in the first quarter. And here's Levert for three. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. <laughs> the way they've gotten at the rebounds has been impressive. And Curry throws it down. I think you can make a strong case that Draymond Green is the best passing four in the league. Unreal court vision. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for Cleveland. It's a five-point game. Shoots from the elbow. Yes, it's good. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. The Warriors shooting just 38% so far in this one. The three from Curry. Levert with a rebound. The green light they gave him early should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. Left side, Gilgis Alexander. Levert outside. Takes a three. Knocks down the long chain. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Timeout called. The Warriors. Fans, give it up for your Warriors. You And the Warriors make some changes. Kaminga, he's checked in for Green. Moody comes in for Anthony. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. Well, we see the young star talent for the Cavaliers, Doris. But where do they need to improve? I think the big challenge is making sure you have quality depth. The East obviously has changed. It's so much tougher than it had been in the past. The back end of that rotation is proving so significant to your success. All right, on the floor for Cleveland. Getting going in the second. They've got Jay Gilgis Alexander. Max Struess is out there with Karis LeVert. Then it's Thompson, and it's Merrill in at the two spot. To the paint. Looney grabs a miss. The Warriors shooting about 43% on this one. Stolen by Struess. Here's Merrill. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Curry with the block. There's the triple. Cavaliers with the rebound. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Pass to Looney. Now here's Green, covered by Struess. Here's Curry, and he drives in. And Curry throws it down. A dynamic finish, then decides to hang out a little for good measure. <laughs> yep, that's the exclamation point right there. Curry against Gilgis Alexander. Shoots over Curry. And another miss by Cleveland. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Yep, that one goes. Boy, Melo has made a name for himself in his mid-range game, and you can see why right there. Merrill passes to Levert. Now here's Struess. Levert, a screen on green. Pass to Merrill. Shot clock at six. And another miss by Cleveland. The Warriors trailing. 
Outside Curry. Here's Pajemski. Oh, they get a hand on it. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second to end the drought. And another miss by Cleveland. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And here's Curry for three. Struce grabs the miss. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. Don't you love how Levert looks for his guys? Totally unselfish, does whatever it takes to get the win. Three-pointer Anthony. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Anthony's got five points in the quarter. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Green picks him up. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. Allen, he's checked in for Cleveland. Okoro comes in for Merrill. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Paul passes to Curry. Three-pointer off the mark. The Cavaliers leading. Levert outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Allen outside. From deep. And there's Gilgis Alexander on the assist by Allen. Gilgis Alexander's got nine points. Kaminga with it. Uh-oh, Kaminga on the take. Soft touch off the glass. Coach is loving the ball movement. The Cavs have gotten only three of nine attempts to fall in the second. Levert with the ball. He's got five. Inside. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Kaminga. And while we have a moment, let's recognize a player who has been working hard lately. Your Western Conference Player of the Week. He has been so impressive on defense. And it really comes down to effort. He has been working so hard to terrorize the offense and keep them under pressure at all times. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavs. Darius Garland comes in for Levert. The Warriors have got five of seven shots to fall in the second. On the wing, Curry. 33 points last game. They set a pick. Looking to end this cold spell. He can't get that one to fall. 3D that time from Allen. And when discussing Jared Allen, Doris, what's the thing you like most about his game? Well, obviously the defensive end of the floor, B.A. Here's a guy that's going to try to contest absolutely everything at the rim. He gets after it on the backboards. And there's this delightful appreciation for just living in the moment that Jared Allen embraces. I love his personality and his game. Clock at six. Back to Garland. Puts up a deep three. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Warriors. Trailing by eight. When this game is done, they'll be off to Milwaukee, taking on the Bucks. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. Curry gets the bucket. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Knocks it loose. Curry with a steal. Outside Kuminga. Over Allen. Wow, Kuminga gets back in a flash. Good ball pressure and fast plays like that will tighten this up quick. Gilgis Alexander passes to Allen. Garland against Curry. Nice move. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Karis LeVert. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And he drops the first, and the 
Cavaliers making a change here. Levert's checked in. Garland hits them both. So it's the Warriors now. Six-point game. They're coming off a loss against Miami. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. You know what? There was a lot of standing around in that basketball game. Failing to move bodies and failing to move the basketball is a bad formula. The three from Curry. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Garland. To the inside. And it's Allen who slams it home. Well, that's a highlight play for Mr. Jared Allen. Nice pass from his teammate. Curry passes to Kaminga. Curry with it. Three-pointer. That won't go either for Curry. He's cold from distance here in the second quarter. May want to try a different approach moving forward. Pass to Okoro. Now here's Mobley. Jackson Davis grabs a miss. Jackson Davis has got five rebounds tonight. Outside Paul. Takes it inside. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Shooters have got to be careful and understand Evan Mobley is an elite shot blocker. He's going to let you feel him now, guys. Out to Garland. The three connects from downtown. Garland's got five points now this quarter. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Curry. And Curry throws it down. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. Allen outside. Mobley outside. Here's Garland. And that's his fourth bucket of the game in seven attempts. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Golden State calls timeout. And the Warriors making a switch here. And now a peek at some of the players competing for a spot in the dunk contest. There's 138 left to play in the second quarter. From outside the arc, and it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got assist number seven tonight. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Garland, a good look. The Warriors pull it in. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Cleveland has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. And finished off by Garland. Darius Garland hooking right now. Boy, when he gets going, he is a problem. Ball finds Curry. 52 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Kaminga with a screen on Garland. And here's Curry for three. The shot, no good. The Cavaliers leading. Now Levert, he's got five. Hey, yo, right here. Hey, now here's Garland, and he gets that one. Garland's got 16 points now. Well, such confidence on display from Darius Garland. Doesn't waste possessions, aggressive. Whoa! Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. It's stolen by Curry. Pass to Paul. Outside Curry. Oh, and he hits! 
Hits it at the buzzer. They credit him for understanding the situation and coming through. That to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. Cavaliers ahead, leading by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. Put your hands together, man, for your arena entertainment. Howdy, folks. The moment you've been waiting for is here. Before we recap the first half, let's see what the standings look like in the East. And fellas, in any given pecking order, you got your peckies, and then you've got your, um, go ahead, Kenny. L don't say it, Jack. He's trying to get us fired. I see what you did there, Ernest. We're not falling for it. Ah, uh, you guys are chicken. Get it? Peck, chicken. <laughs> I know, it's hilarious. Oh my gosh, here we go. And we're going to talk now about that first half of play and got to start with SGA. Putting up points, not shy looking for his shot, man. And he's been carrying the load offensively. Yes, he understands his role and what he needs to do to keep this team successful. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Pretty evenly contested game. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They held a 12-point lead earlier. They've got Kaminga. He's out there with Klay Thompson. And it's Jackson Davis in at the five down low. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Paul for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Well, Darius Garland has the talent to set the table and get his own. Coach Bickerstaff said, quote, well, Darius is really good first and foremost. He understands when it's time when we call his number and when it's time to get the other guys involved. We've been able to depend on him, and he's proven that the moment is never too big for him. Brian? All right, Allie, thank you for that. Good stuff. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Garris Levert's checked in for the Cavaliers. At the line for the Warriors. And that one falls for Curry. And so Curry nails both of them. And here's Levert. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Pass to Mobley. Now Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Curry. It's good. Gilgis Alexander's got 12 points in the game. But Shea Gilgis Alexander is a thirsty scorer, and if you concede the mid-range, he'll take it. Wow, Kuminga playing way above the rim. Set up on the alley oop. Great catch, great flush. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Tipped away. It's stolen by Curry. For the tie. Mobley grabs the board. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. And Doris, the feeling around the league is Evan Mobley could win Defensive Player of the Year multiple times. You know, PA, I think that's on point. And the reason it is is because his effectiveness is not limited to shot blocking. This guy is excellent both on the ball and in help situations. Yes, he blocks a ton of shots, but the fact that he alters even more is as impactful. And he does this all at such a young age without getting into serious foul trouble. Look out, league. Evan Mobley is going to get better and better. And that one falls for Curry. Four, 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 four. 
And so Curry nails both of them. Levert with the ball. Five points in the game. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Mobley on a screen. Levert passes to Mobley. Oh, the bucket's good, and he'll have a chance at one more. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. Mobley may be thin of frame, folks, but showing you he's willing and able to absorb the contact and make the play anyway. Good, Mobley. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Thompson scanning the floor. Kaminga finds Curry. No good from outside. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Levert with the ball, and it's Paul picking him up. He'll just Alexander a good look. It's Cleveland with another. Quick trigger there by SGA. I'll tell you, on the catch, be ready to rise and fire. And here's Curry for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They held a 12-point lead earlier. And they're dialed in offensively. Sure are. Staying in attack mode and at the same time playing under control. Here's Okoro, defended by Thompson. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Back to Curry, pass to Kaminga. Here's Curry, Gilgis Alexander defending. And there's Curry on the assist by Kuminga. Curry's got 27. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Gilgis Alexander against Curry. Here's Okoro. He's scoreless. Shot clock at five. Here's Levert. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The three from Curry gets the three to fall. And now just a three-point Cavalier lead. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Gilgis Alexander against Curry. They grab their own miss. Goes back up. Look at Shea playing big inside. Assisted by... Golden State is gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. And it's time for an injury report. Let's find out the news on Darius Garland. Allie, what's the update? Hey, guys, the Cavaliers head athletic trainer gave me an update. We do now know that the ankle is twisted. He's trying to walk it off, but we have no further information at this time. It is a major loss right in the thick of the season. Other guys will have to step up. Let's see who answers the call. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. The And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. They lead by one. It's stolen by Curry. In transition, here come the Warriors. Three-pointer Anthony. Struess grabs the miss. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the one three, but that was back in the first half. Levert finds Garland. Nice shot from the wing. Garland's got 23 points. This guy's such a good all-around player. Karis Levert sharpening his court awareness and finding his open teammates. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga, he's checked in for Draymond Green. Moody. For the tie. The Cavaliers pull it in. Struess has got four rebounds now. Garland feeling it out a bit. Pass to Struess. From behind the arc. 
And the shot, no good. Green with the defensive effort. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. On the wing, Curry. He's checked by Levert. There's the three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Struess has got his fifth rebound in this one. Back to Garland. Over Green. No good. What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 25 points and counting for him. They have relied heavily on his offense. Back to the game. Steve Kerr with some words for his players. Get there, the ball's moving. Looks more like us, all right? Good to great. We're getting some decent ones. Let's get some great shots now. Reaching how important it is to take quality shots. Coach Kerr. He doesn't want them to settle for average shots. He wants his team to take great shots. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. On the court for the Cavaliers. Karis LeVert is out there with Max Struess. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Dean Wade. And it's Merrill in a two guard. Clock is at three. And he lays it up and in. Curry's got 35 in the game. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Having another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. You gotta love it. Boy, you love to see the lift Draymond Green gets on these dunks. Once he's established, forget about it. Curry against Gilgis Alexander. Over Curry. Gilgis Alexander, no good. The Warriors leading. Right side, Curry. Got it. Good job in the low post. Curry's got 16 in the second half. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Pass to Pajimski. Takes the three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Warriors. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And they've also been scoring on the break. With how difficult it is to get buckets on the half court, any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. Cleveland calls timeout. And the Warriors making a change here. Paul's checked in. Niang, he's checked in for the Cavs. Here's Curry, puts up a deep three, out of bounds. It'll be Cavaliers ball. Cavaliers ball. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Cleveland Cavaliers. On Wednesday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Sacramento to take on the Kings. Then on Friday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. You hear this all the time, but a road trip is a great chance for a team to build chemistry on and off the court. Chemistry matters a lot in the NBA, and a trip like this can bring a team together. The three from Okoro. It's rebounded by Golden State. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Niang a screen. Pass to Akuro. And here's Struess outside. Gets the three ball to go. And that's a clutch shot by a big time shooter. And where's the D? 
Here's Jackson Davis. Outside Curry. 4-3. And it's Niang with the rebound. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. Gilgis Alexander against Curry. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And Curry throws it down. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. Well, you love that he wants to wear out the defense. What a catalyst for his team. Incredible. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Off target from outside. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Thompson finds Curry. Now here's Paul. Back to Curry. They double-team Curry. Paul passes to Curry. Six to shoot. With the drive. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. That's on George Nia. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Curry. And that one falls for Curry. A different look for Cleveland. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Niang. Evan Mobley comes in for Struess. And Darius Garland subbed in for Merrill. And so Curry nails both of them. And after attempting no free throws in the first half, now he's putting the defense back on its heels. Outside, Gilgis Alexander to the middle. It's stolen. And here's the fast break. Launches a three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavs will retain possession. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Here's Gilgis Alexander. This guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. And the Warriors miss again. The Cavs have gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Pass to Garland. The three is up. They get it back. Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Great game for him. Double-double now. Well, this guy's such a reliable presence on the glass. Jared Allen using that length to save the play. There's a screen by Kuminga. Down low. Stolen by Mobley. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's Allen. Oh, oh throw it down. down. Can you say wow. elevation? Nice creativity from the big man, Jared Allen. You've got moves upon moves. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. To the paint. Here's Curry. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Curry's got 43 points. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Allen finds Garland. Ball against Gilgis Alexander. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Just five on the clock. Here's Garland. Here's Mobley. And such a nice move to make that bucket possible. I'll tell you, important moment for Evan Mobley. Meeting the moment with a big shot. That's big time. Curry against Garland. Gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. the inside and Allen gets it to go on the assist from Gilgis Alexander Gilgis Alexander's got six assists in the game two minutes remaining in the game Gilgis Alexander against Paul pass to Curry fires the three and it goes out of bounds that one off Allen A minute 53 left in the fourth quarter. And here's Kaminga for three. Boy, the instincts on the defensive end are impressive for Evan Mobley. The timing and footwork is outstanding. Garland, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. 
And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. He gets the first. And that narrows the lead down to just three. I don't know how you can't be excited about Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy at such a young age accepts the responsibility of the big time delivery. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Well, this is why you run your offense through him in important situations. You know he's going to deliver. And here's Curry for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Strong finish by Gilgis Alexander. There is no moment too big, no pressure too heavy for Mr. Shea Gilgis Alexander. The delivery is on time. Ball passes to Curry. And again, no good by Golden State. He needs to drive to the rim. The shot just not going. Gilgis Alexander against Paul. Garland for three. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. Largely a no-show right here. Drive by Curry. Count it! You talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Cleveland calls timeout. They're behind by two. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Okoro passes to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Okoro. Mobley finds Gilgis Alexander. For three. And knocks down the three. Absolutely fearless is Darius Garland. Clutch shot, no problem. Outside Curry, and there's a pick. Drives to the hoop. It's stolen by Garland. And now we've got an intentional foul. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big fat. He drops the first one. And that'll put him up, too. Well, the physical gifts of Isaac Okoro are evident. Now it's about what are my best skills and what can help me become a real rotation player in the NBA. The time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're down by two. Nine seconds left in the game. All right, guys, what do you think? More than enough time to get a bucket. Well, they've got to be aggressive, guys, because the defense doesn't want to foul here. Off the inbound pass. Oh, off target. Second personal foul. Second team foul. He hits the first one, and that narrows the gap to one. Hits both from the strike. Oh, tremendous composure at the line to tie things up and give them a shot at overtime. Cleveland calls timeout. The score tied at 107. There's six seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Tooth and nail for four quarters. Now we're headed to overtime. This one should be fun. Now 
Now Garland. Kaminga is out there with Clay Thompson. Then there's Chris Paul, and it's Jackson Davis in at the five. Garland, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. And that one drops for him. Gilgis Alexander's got 33 points. We all know that SGA is very capable of averaging 30 for a season. Tonight's exploit should come as no surprise. VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. Mobley outside. Here's Okoro, defended by Thompson. Okoro passes to Mobley. Six on the shot clock. Banked it in off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by two. In the painted area, Mobley just so effective. Hard to cover a guy who's got that kind of size so close to the cup. Dominguez shot is off. And the idea was good, but the execution severely lacking. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. It's stolen. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Curry against Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. The first one falls. At the line for two. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. In overtime here, a minute and a half gone. Allen. Boy, I'd like to see Jared Allen look to score. Forces the defense to make contact. First one falls for him. So both free throws good from Allen. The Warriors trailing. Ball passes to Curry. Curry draws the double. Kaminga with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Five on the clock. <laughs> a beautiful setup on the alley -oop. Great catch, great flush. Just about two minutes into the overtime period. What a game. Garland against Curry. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Goes up off the inbound. Slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. I love when Shea does not just settle for a layup. Finish with authority. What a pretty dunk. Curry gets the bucket. Oh, he's putting on a scoring clinic, guys. If it wasn't for him, they would not be in this game. Allen with a screen on Curry. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Paul's got four rebounds now. Here's Curry, and Curry throws it down. I mean, this is one of the best point guards the NBA has ever seen. Chris Paul doing work with the pass. Overtime basketball, folks. If you're just tuning in, we're just over two and a half minutes in. Allen with a screen on Curry. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. He's guarded by Paul. The offensive rebound. Out to Garland. Curry with a seal. In transition, here come the Warriors. Puts the move on. Oh! <laughs> and that could really be the game-changing moment. I agree. What a turn of events. If anyone wants to know where the momentum turned, that may have been it right there. What a moment for Gilgis Alexander in the clutch. Yes, sir. Here's Curry. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And if you can't force the turnover on that play, then that's not a bad foul. First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a four-point ball game. A productive trip to the line right there makes this a two-possession game. Timeout called the Cavaliers.
They're behind by four. 51 seconds left in overtime. Screen on Paul. Kill just Alexander passes to Allen. Money! When you need one bad, go to a high percentage shooter, and Allen is that guy. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. Good on the first, and that narrows the gap to one. Garland has a scores mentality. But those were essential. Very steady work at the free throw line in a very tight game. Pass to Jackson Davis. On the wing, Curry. On the take. The put back. Late here in the quarter, they still have a foul to give. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. Got a piece of it. Curry with a steal. And they go to the intentional foul. At the line forward. Chris Paul. Two. So the first one drops. And that makes it a three-point lead. Chris Paul has never been a guy that these moments have ever affected. He's got a chance at the free throw line to prove once again he is one of the great clutch players in history. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. Outside Gilgis Alexander. The three ball. And so the big win by Golden State in a tight game. They escaped with the W, even though they needed a few extra minutes to pull it off. And both teams gave their all. But when it came down to overtime, it was about who had more determination. Thank you. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We leave you now with our New Balance Player of the Game.